Hey guys, it's Audrey from Piping Hot Artworks where we turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. And today I have another Pinterest challenge. If you're like me, you happen to spend way too much time on Pinterest and you always look at things and go, I can do that. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a pipe towel rack, just like this one. Stick around if you wanna learn how, thanks. Okay, so we're going to be starting off on Pinterest since this is our Pinterest challenge. And I look here all the time for great ideas and I have seen these coat racks slash towel racks on there a couple times, but haven't gotten around to making one. So I figured we just repainted our bathroom. Why not use one of these designs and do a Pinterest challenge? So this is the one that I selected. In the first step, you're going to be measuring your wall space. So we were going to put it behind um, one of the doors in our restroom, and the space equaled about 45 inches from the door frame to the shower. So I knew that I wanted um, more than just a few hooks. I wanted it to be a longer board so we can fit more towels. So 27 inches was what I decided on which left about nine inches on either side of the board so that it was perfectly centered in the wall. In step two, you're just gonna get a piece of wood. We like to use pine wood, so it's a lot more pliable or a lot more soft where you can make uh, distressed indentations. Step three, you're gonna cut your wood and distress it and then stain it. So I've got a great video on how to distress wood. I will link it uh, at the top of the video now and at the bottom. So if you're interested in getting a detailed tutorial on how to do that at home, please tune into that one. But basically we like to have kind of a weathered rough look on our boards. So we take a couple steps to go ahead and make the new board look almost as if it's old. And you can do this with a lot of different tools around your house, so don't feel like you have to buy expensive tooling. Next, I chose Minwax's Dark Walnut Finish after distressing the wood. And you're just going to apply one coat of this to the board. You don't really need to saturate it that much. Um, boards act kind of like a sponge, so it'll soak up a lot of the stains. So a little bit goes a long way. Here's the finished product, after which we apply a, a poly wipe a gloss to it that gives it that shine. So I'll include that in the description, just one coat of it. Next, you're going to buy your pipe and paint it. So you can purchase uh, pipe fittings at any local hardware store. I like to use the half inch size because I feel like once you go to three quarters, it's a little bit too large, but we use schedule 40 iron piping and it literally comes silver and we paint it another color. Here you can see I'm assembling the pieces and I will include the names of all the pieces below so that you can go ahead and take those to a hardware store and try and purchase them yourself. And obviously you can adjust this based on the size that you want. We're using a half inch plug on the top connected to a 90 degree regular elbow, not a street elbow, with a half inch to close to a floor flange. So flanges are not created equal. Um, ours has four holes to it. Make sure when you're purchasing it that you are picking out the appropriate size. Ours are three inches in diameter. Next, you're going to go ahead and paint the pipe. So we actually use Rust-Oleum Indoor Outdoor um, Black Semi-Gloss Paint. And it comes in this can um, and it looks almost blue. So don't freak out. You're just going to stir it and apply it even though it looks blue. And I promise you it'll come out black. But this usually requires multiple coats. I'd recommend that after you've uh, painted at least you know your first coat go ahead and remove it from the flange because we are going to be attaching those to the board separately in step five you're actually going to attach your flanges to your board so 
here I'm showing a two inch screws but we're going to use a smaller screw to attach them to the board itself probably like a one inch screw after which you're going to drill a hole in the center of each of the flanges that goes all the way through to the board the reason being is we want to take a sharpie marker and in that hole mark where it's going to hit the wall after we've put the board on the wall and we know that it's level then you're going to remove the board, drill your holes, and then go ahead and add um, drywall anchors to it. That way your board is secure on the wall. So I have detailed, I have detailed instructions at the bottom. So. All right, and the last step is to attach your remaining pipe fittings. So here's where we're gonna screw in the half inch to close attached to the elbow and the plug. So that way we've actually hidden all of our holes that attach the board itself to the wall. So it looks like a complete piece. And here is our final outcome. So I absolutely love the way that they turned out. I think it looks great in the space and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, so our Pinterest challenge is complete. Check, done, did it. You're a DIY diva, right? <laughs> Anyways, I am glad you guys tuned in. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like it at the bottom if you did. And go ahead and leave your comments. I'd love to hear how you guys would do things differently. Um, I really love the dark walnut color that I chose. We've used it on a lot of projects and it always just seems to work in every room. If you're interested, please subscribe to our channel. We're doing lots of fun home DIY projects just like this one. And I hope I'll see you for our next Pinterest challenge. If you have a great industrial idea on Pinterest, go ahead and put it in the comments. We'll see if we can make it happen. Thanks. Bye.